my channel in this video we are going to have a look on how to read write csv file in the pie chart and also we will see how to observe the data and the relationship and correlationship uh, between the data variables in the pie chart so first uh, we need to install a, uh, only two libraries that will be enough for this task uh, so i'm going to install pandas because it's it is used to create data frame and like read your csv file and save your file into the csv format and the second thing we are, since we want to observe our data in the form of a graph so i will import matplot so these two libraries will be enough for this task so first uh, i'm going to read the data so for which i have read the csv file so for which i have i will give the date i will name the variable as data2 and i'm going to use the pandas pd dot read csv and i'm going to give the path of where my csv file is located And let's make it a little bit bigger. And um, and I want to see how many rows in the column in the CSV file. So for which I will use the command of a shape. So what I'm going to do is that print uh, and give the name of the variable in which you are storing your CSV file in the pie chart and uh, shape. And I'm going to print the head of the data file i'm going to see the first 10 uh, observation or the um, rows of the data so give that variable in which you have stored your data csv file and give the command head and give the number of the uh, rows that you want to observe so i i want to observe 10 rows that will be enough so let's run this program okay so it has the first task that like we want to uh, read the CSV file that has been completed. So in the second task, I ask like uh, what is the shape of the data? It means how many rows and how many columns are in the data? So it has given the answer 62,709 rows and the seven columns in this data set. In the third, I want to see that like uh, how my data is looking in the from the first uh, 10 observation. The first 10 observation has been uh, uploaded like so it's showing them from the number zero to nine that is equal to the 10 and it's showing the heading or, or the of the column that is a gender age number of the followers previous 10 10 year length and the average uh, position so this is how we have read the csv file in the pie chart so now if i want to uh, okay i'll uh, see the uh, like a uh, relationship or the correlationship between these data set so what will be the relationship between if the age is directly proportional to the number of the followers or inversely proportional to the number of the followers or they have the different relationship. In a similar way, we can observe that like tenure length, does it create any kind of an effect or does it, it is, is it related directly to the age of a length of the position or not? So these kind of stuff we can observe from uh, by using a one simple command of the correlation. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create another variable. I'm going to give the name of the, the core 2 because we have given the set, data set name as a data 2. Core 2 and then I'm going to um, give the command of the correlation. So what I'm going to do is that like core 2 and I'm going to give data 2 because uh, we want to see the observation from the data 2. Um, and then I'm going to give the command core. And I want to see what is the relationship core 2 okay and since I am like I want to see what exactly is the relationship or what exactly is the kind of a table that has been generated for the to see the observe the correlation of the data so I have given the print command for this and I am going to run this 
Okay, so now it has generated the uh, a table for the uh, that is showing the core relationship between the data set. Since the table is not showing the clear picture, so I want to store this ta table in the form of a CSV file. So what I'm going to do is that like I'm going to give the one more heading right. It is for your like, you know, it, it makes your program very uh, decent and easy to understand. So what I'm going to do is that I'm take, going to take data frame 2 because since we are giving the number 2 to each and it's not essential but just for the synchronicity. Okay, data frame 2 and I'm going to use the again the pandas command pd dot data frame and I'm going to give what I want to store in my data frame is the core 2 because this is the table that I want to generate in the CSV file. So this will, table will be generated in the CSV file. So I'm going to transform in this in the CSV file by giving the command to CSV and I'm going to give the path in which the file should be stored. CSV file should be stored and at the end you have to give the name to this CSV file. Okay, for example, I want to give this CSV file name as uh, ABC. And I have given that desktop uh, path to save it. And let's see if it will be saved or not. Let's see if the ABC file has been generated in the desktop. Yes, so it has generated the ABC uh, Excel file, CSV file. In which we can see the, okay this is the correlationship between the data for example the tenure length uh, has is strongly connected with the average length of the position it means that it ha the higher the number the higher the correlation or relationship between the data so now it has been done now i want to see the data in the form okay correlation in the form of a graphical representation so scatter plot So very easy as in this uh, uh, first we need to define the what will be the uh, variable at the x uh, uh, x and what will be the variable at the y so x equal to the uh, i'm going to give the data frame 2 and i'm i want to take my oh, this should be in the tuple and i want to take age at the x-axis and i want to see if it is uh, what is happening at the number of the followers so I, I'm going to take y as the number of followers that is another variable from the data set and I want to give the label so that like it should be identify x uh, plt dot x label Age first thing will be age and the x axis plt dot y label and it will be the number of followers. And I'm going to use the scatter plot for this. X, comma, y. And first we need to show, do the scatter and then we'll scatter and plt.show finally. So that, that has created as you can see that the age having the like uh, between the 40 and 50 has a higher number of the followers in comparison with the other age group people. So this was just an example on how to observe the data in the form of a graphical representation in the form of a tabular form and how to transform your data or output in the CSV file in the pie chart. So thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.